Australia has won three medals at the Olympic Games in wrestling. The last time was 1948 in London and we have never won gold. So it's fair to say there would be plenty of celebrations if we ended up on the podium in Rio next year. Two old friends who grew up together in Uzbekistan just might be the combination to win us a wrestling medal for the first time in 68 years. Talgut Ilyasov arrived here in 2000 looking for opportunity and was chosen to represent Australia at the Athens Olympic Games in 2004 when a serious spinal injury struck just before the event ruling him out. Everybody wants to be on the Olympic Games so wants to get the chance to compete in that and then withdraw because of an injury so I think it's a not good experience. After initially being told that he would not be able to wrestle competitively again because of the injury, Talgut got the itch to get back on the mats after a couple of years out. I like wrestling, I like grappling, you know, there are other sports where you can challenge yourself in terms of skills. And after I recovered a friend, friend of mine, he asked, you still, you know, train, you still fit, you feel strong, why don't you compete again? That friend was national skills coach Kostya Omakovic, who joined his old mate in Australia from Uzbekistan in 2004. I actually asked him if he, if he wants to give it a shot before Olympic um, in Rio. So we spoke about it and then he said, yeah, why not? So we start training a bit harder. Before he can compete in Rio, Target will have to qualify via tournaments such as the upcoming World Championships in Las Vegas. Target has had some promising results recently, winning a gold medal at the prestigious Canada Cup in June this year. Canada Cup showed me uh, how where on in world level I am at the moment. It's a good uh, experience for me. Rio is the ultimate goal ultimate goal, but you have to get to that area first. In the meantime, Talgut will continue to come to the AIS for training camps in the lead up to Rio. The AIS is a very good place to train because you've got all the facilities that you need for preparing for any competition, any level. You've got good food, you've got recovery areas, you've got um, mats, good quality mats and training facilities. 